Hello, hello, everyone. I hope this stretch is finding me well. This is going to be a complete focus on the hips. We're going to get right into them, hopefully making them feel a little bit better. If you're feeling tight like me, we're going to get into those hips right away. So we're going to be here for about 10-ish minutes. Uh, and we're going to start with those heels out nice and wide. And we're just going to get some nice, uh, some nice movement first into those hips, getting internal and external rotation. So those hands are there behind you to support you as you just winch away right to left. Those knees drop from right to left. And then keep going there for another moment. And the next time you're over to the left side, you're going to come right out of that and just come into a nice little fold over that left side. Now, you want to try to keep your back as rounded as, or sorry, as straight as possible. We don't want this little round coming forward. Pull the chest through, take the hands back behind you, rock the knees right to left, right to left, and then right back to the right, hold there. Come on up and then hinge over that right leg. So you're going to keep doing that. So over to the left over to the right. This is just getting those hips warmed up. When you come into that left side, drive that knee and shin down, forward fold for a moment. And you're trying to get deeper and deeper, right to left, back to right and hold. We're gonna do that one more time for each side. Just getting a little bit of movement, give like a little, we'll call this a little prep and warm up for the stretches. Left side to hold for a pause. A forward fold, pressing that knee down. One more time to the right. So you go right, left, hold on the right, and hang out there. Always good stuff. Okay, come back to seated. You're going to extend your left leg out in front. Flex those toes up. Take your right leg and cross it above the left knee. So you're definitely not on the knee. You want to be above that knee. So you're in seated figure four here. Now, if you notice the angle of your knee, to your ankle, okay? If your knee is way up here, we know we have some work to do. I am also at a very tight spot. Some of you guys might be down lower. We're gonna actually work on a nice active push. I'm gonna push down, hold for a breath. Exhale it out, and then release that push. Do that again, press down. As you're pressing with your hand, I want you to think of driving up with your knee so there's an active stretch there. Breath in and out. Do that one more time, release, press down, actively drive the knee into the hand, breath in and out. Now you're gonna to try to keep that downward position as you forward fold over that leg. So maybe you're reaching for that left calf chin. Maybe you can reach for the toe. Maybe it's just keeping the hand to the knee. Make sure it's a hinge with that flat back. Breathing here for three, for two, and for one, slowly release. Switch to the other side. Extend your right leg out. You have to give it a little shake, a little shimmy. Left ankle comes above that right knee. Remember, we want those left, sorry, right toes, both feet, feet to be flexed here. Sitting nice and proud. Notice the difference, okay? I'm very, very tight on this left side. That's old injuries and ailments that I've been working with. Take a breath in. Take your hand to the top of your knee. Press down. Actively push and stretch there. Sit nice and tall. Big inhale. And exhale. And release that. Press down again. Opening, getting that external rotation as you drive the knee in. Breath in. Breath out. One more time. Release and then push. Breath in. So good. Releasing that side. Again, give a little shake, a little shimmy. And from here, we're going to make our way over. Not into tabletop, but coming into hands and knees for a second. We're going to start with that right side. So you're going to take a nice big step forward into a nice deep lunge. Coming into a lizard stretch. So right away, we're sinking deep into those hips. Now, a couple of things in this stretch. What I want you to do is take that right foot. I'm just going to lower my screen down for a moment so we can see feet. Right foot, you want to turn out to that 45 degree position. So we want it opening. And then what I want you to do, if you have yoga blocks, if you don't feel good being down that low, you can prop yourself up, okay? If you have anything else that you can prop yourself up on, great place to be. Press your toes into the floor. And then I want you to, not with your hand, with your knee, I want you to think of 
pulling it away from the center of your body so that that makes more space for those hips to come forward. Maybe taking those hands slightly forward as well. Breathing here. And if you're holding like ten tension or tightness here, often we all do, we want to try to breathe into that and release anything going on. Sometimes that release of breath helps. Sometimes it doesn't. Keep driving that knee away, take one more breath in and out. Shift your weight into your left hand, take your right hand to the inside of that knee, flex the toes off of the floor, roll to the outside edge. Just a gentle twist, nothing crazy, okay? So you're just maybe looking over to your right side a little bit. That's gonna increase the left hip flexor stretch, making a little bit more of an external ro rotation for that right side. And that is tight, friends. Breathing here for three for two and for one. Rolling back to the sole of that foot. Take your right hand back down, walk those hands underneath the chest, press the hips back, keep that foot nice and wide. So both of your hands are on the inside of that right leg. Flex those right toes up nice and high and then think of puffing up your back. So you're really tucking that tailbone, rounding through the spine, taking another big breath in right there. Walk it back forward and then heel toe your foot all the way over to the left side of your space, preparing for a little pigeon flow, if you will. Oh, we got a little foot cramp in there. Okay, so that shin, we want at least a 45 or uh, parallel to the short edge of your mat. Now, I'm, I know I'm not on my short edge, but I'm on a little bit of an angle. I want you to think of sitting nice and tall, sitting nice and proud, pressing into those fingertips. If you have yoga blocks and you want to prop one underneath of that right glute, you can. And then I want you to come down onto those forearms there. We're going to give a little rock to the right hip and then back to center. A little rock to the right hip and back to center. So you're just getting into that glute, getting into that hip. If you've done a lower body workout lately, this one's always a fun one to add in. Really getting into that glute. Two more rocks over to the right, back through center. Last one over to the right, back through center. Come back up onto those hands. Sit nice and tall here. Tuck your left toes in under, pull in that right, no, left knee. Wiggle out that right foot, bring it all the way back and stretch it over to the left side of your space. Give yourself a couple of rocks forward and back, back pressing into the heel, extending back and in. Okay, come back into tabletop from this position. From there, we've just really got into that right hip. So we're gonna draw some nice big hip rotations here. A Little bit of work, keep the foot in flexion, draw the knee in, open the knee out to the side, rotate it there, kick the heel up, back and through. Trying to maintain a nice braced core. Go one more time in that direction. Release that down. From here, keep the toes tucked or uncuffed you choose. Give yourselves a couple of nice cat and cows here. Often when the hips are tight, so is the low back. Always nice to do a couple of cat and cows to reset for the other side. Okay, when you are ready from here, left foot takes a nice big step forward, coming into that lizard pose for that left side. Pick up that back right knee, wiggle it back a little bit, untuck the right toes, and we're hanging out in here. Remember, those toes are out to that 45 degree, and that knee is driving away from the center of the body as you hang out and breathe right here. You can close your eyes. You can just focus on the breath. See if you can relax the face, relax the shoulders, relax those hips a little bit more. Take one more breath in right here. Good, okay. Flex the left toes, roll to the outside of the left foot. Take that hand to the inside of the knee. That Just that gentle twist over to the left, slightly, nice and small. Take a big inhale and a big exhale. Do that one more time, sinking deep into that right hip flexor. Breath in and breath out. Roll back to the sole of that left foot. Take the left hand down. Walk those hands towards underneath of the chest. Press the hips back. Both hands are on the inside of that left leg. Flex those toes. Remember to round here. Really tuck the tail. Puff up those shoulders. Keep pulling in those left toes for three, for two, and for one. Walk it back forward. Walk the left foot over, heel toe, all the way over to the right side of your space, coming down into your pigeon 
for this side. Wiggle those right toes and that right knee back. Sit nice and tall first, getting that nice extension here. Option to have that little block underneath of that left hip. And then make your way down to the forearms. Okay, so we hang out in those forearms for just a moment and then we're gonna have that rock over to the left hip, back through center. Rock over to the left hip. Go slow here. Oh, enjoy that. Over to the left, back through center. Two more times, over to the left, back through center. Last one, over to the left, back through center. From here, come back onto those hands. Okay, tap the right toes, wiggle the right knee in. Take that left leg, swivel it all the way up and around, over to the right, toes touch, press the heel back, rocking it forward and back a couple of times. We're gonna come back into your tabletop. Okay, doing our hip cars, those controlled articulated rotations with the left leg. Draw the knee in, flex the foot, open the knee out to the side, rotate it around, try not to move any other part of that body. Knee comes in, open it out to the side, wrap it around, give yourself one more right here, getting the biggest range that you can, draw the knee in, open it out to the side, big wrap around right there. Okay, from here, we're gonna finish with one more frog pose. Okay, this one is quite intense. You can also take it into a happy baby, so on your back, and then drawing those knees in, taking the outside edges of the feet. If you're cool with frog and you need that extra cushion or support for those knees, take your yoga mat and double it up. You're gonna take those knees out wide, okay? Then you're gonna take those heels so that they're either in line with the knee, okay? Or maybe out a little bit further, okay? The inside of the feet are on your mat. Now, maybe staying here is exactly where you need to be. Maybe that's intense enough for you. You can also take yourself down to forearms. And our goal here is maybe you're gonna rock forward and back, maybe. Coming forward is gonna help release, pressing the hips back, it's gonna get tighter, okay? And again, if you need cushions for underneath of those knees, if you have sensitivity there, take a mat, take a towel, put something underneath. Maybe it's a rock forward and back, maybe it's a static hold. We're gonna hang out here for about 30, 40 more seconds. Just breathing here. Really trying to relax low back, relax hips, relax groin, inner thigh. Close your eyes, breathe deep. Good. Take two more cycles of breath wherever you are. Big inhale, big exhale. One more time, big breath in and out. Now, a couple of options. If you are in happy baby hangout and you are still in your frog pose, you can just bring those forearms forward and kind of crawl out of that position. Oh, let your belly come to the floor. Close those legs. And one little last thing I'm gonna do. If you're in happy baby, still hang out there. If you finish frog and you're down onto that belly, just rock those hips from right to left. Untuck the toes, rest the, the head down onto those hands. Wiggle those hips. I would recommend to stay here. Give yourself some nice big belly breaths, feeling your belly expand into the floor. Relaxing hips, relaxing low backs. You can also finish with a lovely child's pose there. Always good stuff, all of the above. That is a good 13 minutes of solid hip stuff, focusing deeply on those hips. I hope you enjoyed, I hope it helps. Uh, obviously share it with friends that you think might need that too. Always a good one. Those hips are always, whew. enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Have a fabulous day wherever you are. Bye everyone.